Hey guys, in this video, we'll go over what the value of the Dazzling Advanced Bundle is. This is a newer box that was released around a month ago and is pretty unique as you can obtain multiple items from one box. You have a guaranteed chance to obtain 300 crons and an additional chance to get the other items. This makes this box pretty cool as no matter what you'll get 300 crons but you also have a chance to get every single item listed in this box as a bonus item. With that being said though, it still is a RNG box so we'll have to find out what the real value of the box is. To calculate the value of the box, we need to get the rate of obtaining an item and multiply it by the value of that item. With that, we get the individual contribution each chance of getting an item gives to the overall value of the box. We then add up all the individual contributions to get the total value of the box. The rates were pretty easy to get as they were provided on the official Black Desert Online website. To get the value of each item, we tried to get the values as close to what Pearl Abyss intended each item to be. All the crons, outfit boxes, artisans, buffs, and mount items that could be bought on the store, we simply used the pearl value of that item on the store. The weirder items, like the advice of Valks, we valued them based on 80 stacks being worth around 550 pearls. The 100 stacks would be double the price at 1,100 pearls, and the 60 stacks would be half that price at 275 pearls. The 40 stacks is about half of that at 137.5 pearls. This is a relatively good valuation, but since stacks are getting cheaper and easier to get, I may change this in the future. The other weirder items is the rare Cronstone bundle. PA values these at 400 pearls each when they sell them for pearls. However, since it is an RNG box, we have valued them before and they were about 661 pearls each. Since I want to keep the prices as close to the prices that PA intended, I put them in as 400 pearls, but just know that theoretically this box is worth a little bit more if you account for RNG. Some of the values may be weird and you may value other items differently. Later in this video, we will go over another valuation more geared towards whales who only care about crons and artisans. The first valuation, however, will contain every single item. Finally, having all the value of each items, we multiply the rates and amount of items to get the overall contribution each chance of getting an item gives to the value of the box. We then add up all the contributions to get the overall value of the box is worth 2,032 pearls. Which is actually pretty good considering that the base price of the box is 900 pearls. However, pearl items are often put on sales, with weekly sales running from about 20 to 40%, and big event sales going upwards of 80% off. To find a relatable number, we need to find the discount equivalence of this box or what this box would be if it was compared to items on sale. We simply get the difference of the base box cost and the total value we calculated and subtract that number from one. In the end, the discount equivalence of this box is 56% off or that it is the same thing as buying every item in this box at 56% off. This is actually pretty good and a lot higher than most discount equivalences of RNG boxes. The reason why is no matter what box you open, you're guaranteed to get 300 crons minimum, which has a value that is already higher than the box itself. On top of that, you have a very, very high chance of getting a bonus item. On average, most players will get the guaranteed crons, a bonus item, and have a small chance, around 6%, of getting a second bonus item on top of that. On a 56% discount equivalence at base price, this box is honestly pretty good and if you are already whaling for crons, it can be a great pickup. This week they are selling the box at a couple of discounts. If we look at the biggest discount, which is the box being sold at only 300 pearls, it would have a discount equivalence of 85%, which is insane. Again, if you want a more deep dive on the weekly sales, I do a Pearl Shop rundown explaining the discount equivalences of each pack that is currently being sold this week on the Pearl Store, and that video should be out soon. When that video is released, I'll of course link it to this video. That being said though, since the value we calculated is what the average player would get based on the small chances of getting a really expensive item, we still want to see what the chances of getting each item is if you only open one box. This is basically the rate of each item, but we wanted to make it more visual. To do so, we got every item on the list and added together the items that were worth less than the box cost, between the box cost and the average calculated value, and greater than the average value. Since this box is a little bit weird, as you get multiple items in the box, the rates add up to more than 100%. 
we got that there is a 66% chance to get less than the box cost, a 125% chance to get between, and a 15% chance to get more. Since no matter what you will obtain 300 crowns, we took that away and instead added that to the base price. With our new value, we no longer get less than the box cost since no matter what we get 300 crowns, which is more than the box itself. We also have a 77% chance to get between the box cost and the average value, and a 29% chance to get greater than the average value. This is actually pretty nice since no matter what, you will not get less than the price of what you paid for the box, and you have a decent chance to get a lot more. If you look at the pie graph, it is a little bit weird since the chances without cron still add up to 106%, more than 100%, so the pie chart just normalizes it down to 100%. You do have a more than 100% chance though, so just add some percents to both pieces. All in all though, this box is pretty good. But what if you're a whale who doesn't want any of the mount items or other weird things? In this second valuation, we took away all the random things like mounts, maids, and inventory expansions that a super whale may not want. In this case, the total value of the box is still 1,782 pearls and has a discount equivalence of 50%. For only pretty good items, that is a nice discount equivalence. If we want to go even further, we could take away the value pack, comma Sylvian, and old moon books, along with the stacks to only have artisans and crons remaining. If we took those away, the box would still be worth 1,634 pearls and have a discount equivalence of 45%. This is pretty insane since we are only valuing crons and artisans at this point. A 45% discount for only crons and arties is super good and you are guaranteed to get 300 crons per open. This is also at full price of the box and does not include any bonus discounts. Again, if you want to know the weekly discounts, look at my weekly Pearl Shop rundown videos. Overall though, this box is really funky and really good. Since it guarantees 300 crons and has a bonus chance of getting additional items, it has a very high average value and high discount equivalence. A 56% general discount equivalence is super good, and even with only crons and arties, it still has a discount equivalence of 45%. This box is only really good for people who want crons since the 300 crons guaranteed is a bulk of its value. If you don't want crons, you probably shouldn't get this box unless you really like RNG. Since this box can drop multiple items, it does make the calculations a bit weird, and there may be a better way to calculate the value, but I still think that this way makes a lot of sense. This box has a super fun RNG factor since one box can get you every single item, but still remember that it is completely random and you should always spend responsibly. Either way though, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all next time.